Hey everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're looking at cubic functions and their transformations. So we've got a cubic function here, which is x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c, right up here. And it wants you to figure out what is a, b, and c given the following diagram. Well, our fundamental theorem of algebra says that if you have a cubic, that there's going to be three zeros. And right here, you can see that the three zeros are negative one, one, and two. So we know that f of x is equal to x plus one, x minus one, and x minus two. Now, if we multiply this out, it becomes x squared um, minus one times x minus two, which is equal to x cubed minus x minus 2x squared plus 2, which is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. So we put it in the form that we wanted, like this, and we now know that a is equal to negative 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to 2. Continuing on, uh, the next part says, find the x-intercepts and find the y-intercepts if we do the following transformation where we multiply by 3 and we shift it to the right of 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this function and I'm going to do the transformation of multiplying by 3 and then shifting all your x values to x minus 2. I'm going to continue on even though there's now background music at my school. Okay, so what I've got here is f of x is equal to, so I'm going to multiply by 3, because that's what it says I have to do, and then I'm just going to change all my x's to x minus 2. So x minus 2 plus 1, x minus 2 minus 1, and x minus 2 minus 2. And this is equal to 3 times x minus 1 x minus 3 and x minus 4. From this we can see uh, the coordinates of where we have the x, uh, we intercept the x-axis would be at x equals 1, x equals 3, and x equals 4. So our points would be 1, 0, 3, 0, and 4, 0. The next part, ii, what is the y-intercept? Well the y-intercept is simply, we look at this question, or equation and make x equal to zero and you'll find your y-intercept so three times negative one times negative three times negative four is equal to negative 36 and therefore your y-intercept happens at y-intercept is at negative 36 Hope that helps. Have a good day.